taking on the responsibility as a witness today and reflecting on that with your very kind and generous words. We'd like to also invite Kyla to come forward as our next witness. Which can... Thank you. Well, like Mayor Robertson, I will have a chance to speak later, so I'll just say briefly thank you to everyone, to the families who are part of the ceremony. It is an honor to bear witness here on your land. And I just want to briefly say that for myself, what came to me during the ceremony was that I get the chance to raise my child here on this land, on your territories, and he gets a chance to learn through his school, Grandview at Kinequa, how important it is to have ceremony and to acknowledge your history and your ancestry. He's the child of a Mayan father, and through his schooling in Vancouver and with the elders that he has at his school, he has taken an interest in learning his Kapchikal language, his Mayan language. So thank you for inspiring him and for inspiring our families and for everything you have done to make this project possible. Thank you. Thank you, Kyla. I'd like to also invite Joan to come forward as our uh, fourth witness. Wojtka. Good morning, everyone. Um, it was a real honor to be asked to be a witness here today. And thanks to all of the family members and leaders who led us through a very moving <laughs> ceremony. It's the first time I've ever experienced anything like this. And I think it's very fitting that this would be the way in which we open this new branch. When I was thinking about coming here, um, I actually went back to the late 70s when the idea for this space was first uh, thought of, at least at the library board level, when I was on the library board and we approved the reading room at Carnegie, knowing that these communities needed a full library branch. And here we are almost 40 years later with this magnificent space and with the addition of housing for families on top of the building. So it's just a fantastic project. Um, I'd like to thank all of the people, the hundreds of people from the city, from the library, from the community that made this day possible. And I was also reminded during the ceremony that um, 40 years may seem a long time to me, but it's a mere drop in the bucket when you consider the history of this place. And you reminded me today that people have lived here for thousands of years, and that as we go about our daily lives in Vancouver, um, we should all remember, and I will certainly remember, that um, there were First Nations here long before many of us arrived, or our ancestors arrived, and be grateful that they are sharing this land with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Joan. And thank you to all of our witnesses again for not hesitating to come forward and uh, share your good words of advice and reflection on the importance of this day. Uh, I want to put our chief on the spot if I can. Yukakwaluk, I feel that uh, it would be very um, appropriate to invite uh, Chief Wayne Sparrow from the Musqueam uh, to come forward and also share some words. Um, I know that uh, we've been working really uh, on some exciting projects between the Musqueam, Squamish and Tsleil-Waututh, in particular some of the land developments and acquisitions in and around Vancouver. And uh, you know, the Chief was reminding us the other day, uh, we say Osium, right? Everyone can say Osium? Osium. That was okay. <laughs> The chief said it's going to change in the next few years as we get into develop from OCM to ATM. <laughs> so it's an exciting era as we uh, enter the market uh, in economic reconciliation as well. And the chief certainly has been a champion and a leader in this area. So I'd like to invite uh, uh, Chief Wayne Sparrow if you can please come forward and also uh, offer us some words. Thank you. Thank I want to start by uh, acknowledging Chief Campbell, and I want to thank him for using his voice this morning. I want to acknowledge everybody that's here, especially uh, the Musqueam elders. It's good to see our elders come out and some of our, our youth. Um, I'm going to echo a lot of the comments that Chief Campbell has said. I want to acknowledge the uh, drummers and singers of uh, giving us the privilege and honor of using your voices and uh, carrying on our culture and our teachings. and 
I want to just touch on a, on a few points of uh, using those names, uh, Joe Mathias, and using his songs and the and the leaders that we had in the past. I think they're looking down on us and and smiling upon us about you know it was all their hard fights that they had growing up with a residential school and taking our language away, um, forcing us onto reserves, and creating a lot of these problems. Um, that we live with today, so I want to acknowledge all our past leaders that have uh, made myself and Chief Campbell's job a, a, a lot easier. Um, if it wasn't for them of having that vision and those goals, we wouldn't be standing here today. I also want to acknowledge Gregor um, for his leadership in reconciliation and moving forward. And I, I say that sincerely. Um, it's not just a friendship. Um, your heart and commitment from all of your council, uh, the city, you guys are going to make the change with us um, and helping the rest of the uh, communities go there. And it's, it's the leadership that you show um, on behalf of uh, the city of Vancouver. So I want to personally acknowledge all the hard work and dedication and uh, the work that you've done on behalf of the, the city and all our city council. It's It's become... A friendship and I can honestly call all the city council members and the mayor and all the staff friends of all three of our communities so I want to thank you so, uh, I don't want to bore everybody speaking behind Chief Campbell I'm married to a Campbell so I don't have an opportunity to say much after he, he covered he covered almost everything that uh, I was going to say, but I just I want to acknowledge Vanessa and Larry on behalf of our staff that have done a tremendous job. We had a opportunity last night at our council to see the video and the hard work that they've done. And one of the commitments that we've done on behalf of our community from Musqueam is made commitment to our language um, that we're going to uh, we're going to have our staff um, really push on our council side to make sure that it's revived and and. Uh, a uh, high priority on behalf of our community. So I want to acknowledge our young people along with our elders um, for all the hard work and dedication that they have. So I'll, uh, I'll cut it off there, but I'm <coughs> glad to see so many friends out in the in the stands. Uh, it's it's going to be you, the people here, that are going to help us uh, um, finish our elders' goals. So I want to acknowledge everybody that's here and thank you for being here. Hi, Chika. I knew I could put him on the spot and he wouldn't hesitate. That's a, a, a very strong gift that you have to uh, continue to build collaboration and, and support amongst all of our uh, diversity here in the city. So thank you again for your leadership. Uh, with that, my dear friends and relatives, again, thank you to our witnesses. Thank you to the Vancouver Public Library. Uh, for the, the vision to see the, the, the space being created. Uh, decades of, uh, of work um, as relay runners, we pass that baton on, and uh, we're seeing the fruition here today. So, uh, we commend you. Thank you for your good work. And when we will continue the, the good work together uh, collectively. Again, thank you to our elders from Musqueam for the beautiful word. That's a must being uh, bestowed on this uh, building. Thank you to all of you, our relatives. Enjoy the rest of the day. This concludes this part of our, our ceremony this morning. Post -game.